Hello everybody, Big Ed here. Welcome back to another episode of Skyblock in Minecraft. I wanted to start off by saying thank you to everybody for all the support that the first four episodes have got. It's unbelievable how many views those have got over such a short period of time. So I just wanted to say thank you. Hope you guys are looking forward to this episode. Uh, we're going to do a lot of fishing and a lot of mining again in this episode. But uh, not as much deboss. So well, I'm going to do mining and fishing in this episode. And between the episodes I'm going to grind the dragon boss. And uh, hopefully get lots and lots of frags to help the island out. But uh, in the last episode, if you haven't watched it, I would highly recommend. I also recommend watching the series from the start. But uh, we've been pretty, pretty busy. We have a look at our fishing rod. We're now 442 fish away from lure 8, which is good. We're still at the same amount of blocks away on our super pickaxe. To be honest with you, the reason I haven't mined is because the whole setup has moved over here like I showed in the last episode. And uh, I'm, I'm scared to use it. I've never seen a cobblestone generator like this. And uh, I'm scared to use it because I don't want to break it. So uh, I'm not touching it. But um, I'm tempted to set up a little setup back over here. And then get back on the mining grind. But uh, I'm going to talk to Alex, see how you use it and uh, get back to it. But yes, yeah, so we've been doing a lot of fishing. If we have a look at our masteries here. The island has been very busy. Well, I say the island. 12 seas on the island has been incredibly busy fishing. So as you can see, we're tier four vanilla, pretty close to tier five. We are getting pretty close to tier six basic fish as well. And here, this is the big one. So we have officially unlocked common fish and we're just shy of 3000 away from unlocking exotic fish. So 12 Cs, if we have a look at his inventory here, if he's online, yes he is, of course he is. If you have a look at his inventory and look at his fishing rod. So he's lure level 13 and he's caught 33,757 fish, which is unbelievable. It is just, I've got no words. It's just, it's an incredible accomplishment. And if we have a look at Alex as well, because he's been doing a lot of, a lot of our mining. So he's up to Fortune 12. He's mined 130,000 blocks. And uh, he's 19,500 away from Fortune level 13. So uh, he is our miner slash island value man at the moment. Good role for him because he enjoys the mining. So uh, so we've got a pretty well-rounded team, to be fair. We've got 12 Cs doing the fishing. We've got Alex doing the mining. Uh, I'm doing a bit of fishing, a bit of mining, and a lot of Dragon Boss. And we've got Trent, the new guy, who's doing farming. So we're covering all the good money-making elements. So uh, we're doing really well. But um, I'm going to continue fishing and continue mining. And I'll bring you back with a significant milestone. Alrighty, so we're at another day on the Skyblock server. A lot has happened since the last clips. Uh, that was yesterday. Uh, I'm going to show you just now. So if we have a look at our masteries, if I can spell, there we go. So fishing, we are 12,515 fish for the basic, 5,889 for the common. So we've caught probably 800 fish since the last clip, which is very good. And we're getting closer and closer to the exotic fish. For those of you who are unaware and uh, unfamiliar with OP blocks, Skyblock, Fishing, when you get to lava fish, that's right, you can fish in lava, is incredibly profitable when you get to tier 5, tier 6, whatever the last tier is, because you can sell everything for double the price. So, it's just, I don't know what to say. Other than incredible, I don't know what else to say. But uh, I think we've been doing a bit of mining as well. If we have a look at our masteries, again, can't spell. There we go. Endstone is a massive one. So as you can see, we're tier 7. So this increases chancing, chances of summoning eye drop by 5%. And as soon as we hit tier 8, increases max amount of fragments obtained by 10. So if you are unaware, fragments you get from the dragon boss. And uh, the minimum you can get is then increased by 10. So if... Normally you would get five, you'd get 15 minimum. And that is what we're after. And then I'll grind it. Well, I've been grinding a lot of Dragon Boss, I will be honest. But uh, I'll grind even more Dragon Boss with these, uh, with the good Endstone Mastery. I have still not touched the brand new Cobblestone Generator. Terrified of the thing because I don't want to break it. Uh, Alex was telling me that it's really difficult to make. 
Whether I believe him or not, different story, but uh, it sounded difficult, but I don't know if he was just faffing around, but nonetheless, terrified to use it, don't want to break it, uh, so I need to set up another system. So I haven't actually mined any blocks still. I've mined probably 150, 200 fish since the last clip, so we're looking good, we're looking good. If I was a solo island, I'd probably be close to lava fish by now but uh no i wouldn't 4481 my chain uh if i was a solo island i'd be miles behind um everyone because uh, yeah i've been carried by my teammates thank you very much teammates love you thank you very much no i'm just kidding but uh we're a very good team we're a very good team like i said earlier in the video we cover all the bases when it comes to uh earning money got someone doing a bit of everything bit of mining bit of fishing bit of farming bit of dragon boss so covering everything i haven't been doing as much dragon boss as i have been i'm trying to get my fishing up so that way we can try and get to lava fish a bit quicker sell everything buy frags buy armor do more damage to the boss sort of thing but uh, we're, cur we're just currently so uncomfortable 83 million so we're not looking too bad overall 447,000 sky coins and 450,000 xp somewhere in the comments section if you've made it this far Hopefully this answers your question. Um, if we have a look at our pets, uh, and then we'll go to pet list. So the pets that I use at the dragon boss are the skeleton. So this increases your bow damage. Uh, when it gets to level 11, uh, level when it gets to max level 5, I think it does 10 or 15% damage. So it does a lot. Uh, I also use the shulker. So a chance of killing uh, summoners instantly which is good because you farm more eyes, play, place more eyes, do more damage. And I also use the Wither Pet. So this increases the chance of doubling the loot from the Dragon Boss. So let's say you place first on a Champ Dragon. Uh, you get 26 Fragments and a Chess Piece. If the Wither procs, you get 52 Fragments and 2 Chess Pieces. So it works for any boss at any time. But I'm using that as an example because Champ Frags are about... I think they're about... 10 to 15 mil so if you get 56 of them you're laughing and i think chess pieces are about 500 mil so you're looking at a cool 1.5 to 2 build drop from one boss if you're with a proc so it's just you can see how the money adds up very 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 quickly i haven't really touched slaying like um, mobs and stuff on the blade i just i can't do it i just can't do it i can't well it's no more boring than fishing but i just can't i just can't do it i don't know why but uh, I don't have the patience, which I know is funny because I'm fishing and you also need patience for fishing. But All right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly teleport to the, ooh, to the dragon boss. Warp D boss, there we go. See if a dragon is spawned in. If it's about to... Oh, there's a colossal. Right, we'll join this. Uh, we're 7,000 damage late. Uh, let's see. We're about 9,000 damage late by the time we get to it. Let's hide players and let's see how much damage we can do to this dragon boss. Right, so the dragon boss has been defeated. We did 2,120 damage, and we were only 220 damage shy of finishing top 5. Which is funny, because we came uh, 9,000 health late. So uh, we did really, really well on that. Uh, I'm going to stick around here for another couple of minutes, see if I can get a second, uh, second dragon boss kill in this video. But uh, yes, I'll let you know how I get on. All right, so I'm back on the island. Unfortunately, after about 10 minutes, a dragon boss didn't spawn in. That's unfortunate because I was hoping we'd get another one. But I'm just going to quickly run you guys over the enchants that I've got on my sword and my bow if you guys wanted to do the dragon boss yourself. So we've got the standard bow. We've got infinity, power six, unbreaking five. Uh, it's always best to use one of the monthly crate bows because they always come with power six. And uh, the custom enchants we used are dragon hunter five, so that increases the amount of damage your bow does on the dragon boss. Bounty 3 gives you a random buff when you fire your shot. So you could get strength or jump boost speed, whatever. Fiery Barrage 5 shoots an array of flame arrows at the boss doing extra damage. Very, very good. And Missile 5. Missile 5 has a chance for the arrow upon impact to blow up and do extra damage. So they're all very, very good. The blade... Is a bit lacking at the moment. All the only one I've got in there is Summoner Three, so that increases the chance of uh, receiving a Summoning Eye upon death. So uh, pretty good. You could also get something called Dragon Slayer Five, which increases the amount of damage that your sword does. So, but I don't really go in for sword hits. It's apparently it's really good, but um, I just stand back and use a bow and. 
I normally place top five, so it's entirely up to you whether you want to run in and hit it with your sword. But uh, yes, that's what I normally do. A uh, pickaxe for those of you who are interested. Debris Smasher, just one hits Ancient Debris. Treasury 5 is XP that you gain from mining, so you gain more. Uh, Miner's Dream, no, I'm wrong. Treasury increases the amount of drops you get whilst mining. Miner's Dream increases the amount of XP that you get. Molten Auto Smelts. Preservation is like mending. Haste obviously increases the speed. If you guys want to spend some more time reading through all the custom enchants, all you need to do is slash enchants and then click the little piece of paper for custom enchants info. And then it tells you each individual thing you can get on any any tool in the game. So and the color represents the sort of book that you need as well. So obviously there's three different enchant books on this server. You get basic, advanced and extreme. So if it's color in green like haste, it's basic. Yellow is advanced and red is extreme. So you can see the sort of, see the sort of books that you need to open to try and get one of them yourself instead of spending tens of millions on it. But I'm going to just say again a huge thank you to everyone for all the support the channel's received recently. Uh, it's, it means a lot to me, a lot more than you could ever imagine. I just wanted to say thank you again. If you guys are enjoying this series and enjoying the channel, please let me know by leaving a like, commenting and subscribing. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Thank you very much.